welcome to the video lectures on compiler design so now we'll see what is the first and follow for this grammar so how to get this first and follow so anyway first I'll write what are the terminals and non terminals in this so first terminals are plus star open brace close brace and ID and what are the non terminals or variables e e dash t t dash and f anyway there is epsilon symbol epsilon is neither a terminal nor a non terminal so how to find first and here I don't want to write the definitions for first and follow so I'll just uh, give how to find easily uh, I'll directly take this grammar and I'll explain so for first of any terminal is terminal itself so no need to again find for that let us suppose first of if I say plus means plus only nothing will be changed first of star will be star first of open brace is open brace close brace is close brace like this first of ID is ID only so we need to find the first for non terminals anyway mostly we will use in this uh, predictive process you use uh, first first and follow for only for non terminals so that only required actually so first of non terminals so first I'll go for what is the first of I'll take E is a one non terminal so what is first of E how to find so now you need to check it out in the grammar where is E located left hand side not on the right hand side only on left hand side where is that E here it is there here it is E dash no so only here you have wherever you have you have to consider is there any other production other than this one no so I have to take all those so here we have only one so E and you have to go to the right hand side you have to check what is the extreme leftmost symbol so you have to just to go to that and you have to check it out what is the extreme extreme leftmost symbol on the right hand side check it out is it a terminal or non terminal if it is a terminal directly write that, write that terminal if it is a non terminal again you have to find the first of that non terminal so in our example what is first of E means you have to check it out it is not a terminal so it is a non terminal so that's why again I have to write what is first of T I have to find and that will be your first of E did you find first of T no so I'll find it first of T so what is first of T again I have to go for the same process I'll check it out where is T on the left hand side where is that here so T what is first of T I'll go to the right hand side and what is the extreme leftmost symbol is it terminal if it is terminal you have to write but it is non terminal so again I have to write what is first of F first I need to find what is first of F and what is the answer I'll substitute here now what is first of F first I want to find what is first of F so what is first of F where is the F on the left hand side here only so I'll check it out what is the extreme leftmost symbol open brace open brace is a terminal or non terminal terminal yes I can write terminal now one more is also there slash no so that means there are two productions in this one is F tends to open brace E another is F tends to ID again what is the leftmost symbol ID ID combined is a one symbol it's not like I separately D separately it is ID means one symbol so that's why it is also a terminal so ID is also one more so what is first of F means open brace and ID so here what is first of T means first of F that means what is first of T also open brace ID now what is first of E first of T what is first of T open brace ID so now we got three answers that is first of E first of T and first of F okay E T and F is over now I have to find E dash and T dash what is first of E dash again I'll go with the same procedure where is E dash here only one place so I'll go to the right right side right hand side what is the extreme left plus is there so terminal no I'm writing and one more is there epsilon no so epsilon also you have to include it is after slash no that's why you have to take it as separate that means you have one production like E tends to E dash tends to epsilon is that right so similar to that first of one more the remaining is T dash what is first of T dash 
so i'll go to t dash where t dash is there here so now what is the leftmost symbol on the right hand side here you have star so star is the terminal i am writing of course epsilon is also there that's it this much simple it is to find first of any non terminal so like this we need to check it out for first of any non terminal now how to find the follows how to find the fall of each one okay how to find any anyway, value for non terminals only here so fall of the first non terminal is e now how to find the fall of here also i don't want to go for write the definition i'll tell you how easily you can find so that means fall of e means now of course anyway in fall first you check it out for that symbol on the left hand side no now you have to check that symbol on the right hand side check it out is there any symbol like e on the right hand side not on the left hand side first you check it out is there any e it is e dash no no it is epsilon so here it is yes so and one more thing we we have to remember that first whenever you want to find follow follow of your start symbol of your grammar is you have to include dollar that means in the entire grammar you have one start symbol no what is the start symbol where it is starting for e only no so now follow of e should be included with dollar that means follow of e should be always consists dollar only for start symbol not for any other symbols only for the start symbol which is a non terminal no so for that you have to include dollar first then you have to proceed like this so first i included dollar then i am checking whether that non terminal is on the right hand side so e is on the right hand side now check it out what is there after e so when you are finding for follow of a non terminal you have to check what is there after e now there are three options for this what are those three options first option is you might find a terminal you might find a non terminal you might find nothing that is epsilon three options no what you need to do that means if there is a terminal after e you write directly the terminal in follow okay if you find non terminal you have to find first of that non terminal non terminal and write and the third one epsilon means you have to go to the left hand side of the production anyway all these three constraints we'll find here we'll see all these three i'll tell you one by one these three factors you will find here now follow of e if what is that next symbol after e immediate only one symbol you need to consider not more than that so what is immediately following closing brace is it a terminal yes so terminal means directly write that terminal what is the terminal closing brace i am writing that's it now follow of let us suppose the next one e dash so what you need to do first check it out is it on the right hand side where is e dash on the right hand side not on the left so here it is there here it is there so what is follow of e dash is there any symbol after e dash no so that means which case this case epsilon case that means if there is no symbol what you need to do here is listen this one carefully if there is no symbol after this symbol you have to write fall of e dash equals to you have to write what is fall of that left hand symbol what is there e so that you need to take if it is epsilon you have to take the fall of that left hand side if it is a non terminal you have to take first of non terminal if it is a terminal directly write that terminal that's it of course that is also first of terminal means terminal only now you can see here fall of e dash is no symbol is there that's why fall of e dash is now equals to fall of e this third case you need to check so i'll write fall of e what is fall of i'll write here fall of e and one more thing union Uh, is there anywhere here also you have e dash F so fall of e dash means again you have to write fall of the left hand side e dash so fall of e dash means again the same thing no of course it is optional if you want you can write if you are getting same symbol no so that's why it's up to you you can write or not it's not a problem so now what is fall of e you got the answer that is dollar 
closing brace is your answer anyway follow v dash means again the same thing so dollar closing brace will be taken now follow of i'll go with t what is follow of t follow of t means check it out where is that symbol on the right hand side so where is that symbol on the right hand side here you have here you have so what is the next symbol is there a symbol yes you have symbol that's why you have to take which what is the next is check it out whether it's a terminal or non terminal so it is a non terminal e dash so when it is a non terminal means second case so fall of t will be that non terminal no so, so when it is non terminal you have to write first of non terminal so first of non terminal that is first of e dash i have to take of course here also the same case first of e dash you need to write again the same thing and next thing next thing you have to observe here is when you get e dash and one more thing you need to observe here is what is e dash epsilon you got you just substitute here e dash and here also what happens if i substitute e tends to it will become t only why because e dash means epsilon here also e dash tends to plus t it will become why because e dash means epsilon so now if i substitute what is fall of t if i ask you fall of t means no symbol no so that's why you will get here e so how we can know this one means here you can see first of e dash first i'll write here what is first of e dash you can see first of e dash is plus sign epsilon now you are getting epsilon no so then you will come to know okay epsilon you are getting no you have to substitute so you have to substitute in first of e dash epsilon so if i substitute epsilon in e, in e dash i'll get two terms like this so now again find what is fall of t no symbol no so fall of t means fall of e here fall of t means fall of e dash now if you substitute what happens here it will become fall of e or fall of e dash of course both are same no you can see dollar close brace dollar close brace so now what happens the total plus dollar and close brace so this is very important when you take when you get epsilon what you need to do when you get epsilon you have to substitute in that non terminal and you will get new productions again you have to check it out what is that fall of t so like this you will get so in follows you cannot find in uh, you cannot find epsilons you have to avoid that one how to avoid that i explain now now this will go for the next one fall of t dash so what is fall of t dash you can see where is t dash here only here only so fall of t dash means what is the next symbol no symbol so that's why fall of t you will get so fall of t you will get what is fall of t we got the answer now so that i will write here plus dollar closing brace now the last one fall of f so what is fall of f you can check it out where is f is there here is there and here is there followed by f is t dash is there so that's why i have to write first of t dash what is first of t dash and you have to clearly remember where i am writing first and where i am writing follow so that you need to check it out clearly so first of t dash means star epsilon no i said star i am writing but what about epsilon if i get epsilon you have to substitute what is t dash means epsilon here so if i substitute here i am writing here t tends to f t dash is epsilon and next one is t dash tends to so i am writing this one t dash tends to star f t dash means epsilon now you can see in this two what is fall of f what is fall of f means f no symbol that's why fall of t here fall of f means fall of t dash anyway fall of t and t t and t dash both are same that's why that i'll write here any one is fine fall of t i'm writing or t dash now what is the answer for this one star is there what is the fall of t means plus plus dollar closing brace so like this you need to find it out very simple you remember for follow fall of any non term any non terminal you have to check it out there are three factors if there is a fall of any non terminal is terminal you have to write directly that terminal 
if it is a non terminal you have to find first of that non terminal and when you find the first of non terminal if you get epsilon again you have to substitute and how to substitute i explain and if there is no symbol after follow that means that is only the last symbol then you have to do follow of the left hand side of the non terminal so like this these three things you have to remember clearly so that you can answer that first and follows easily hope you understood this one perfectly if you have any sort of the doubts you can comment in the comment section thank you